So today I'm doing a video on this trellis I just finished building over the holidays. Um, my plan is this spring I'm going to plant some coral honeysuckle over here in this corner of the yard. And <clears throat> a lot of yards have what I call dead spaces, which are just spaces that you don't have a whole lot going on and it's not much to look at. And I'm trying to take this space and turn it from a dead space into one that is going to be attractive to look at in the summer. And so I started with this trellis and I wanted to show you guys how I built it. What I did is I bought these four by four cedar posts and I chose cedar over pressure treated wood because you can use either, but I like the look of the cedar after you put a nice stain on it. The, uh, the pressure treated will take a stain, but it has a little bit of a different hue to it. So anyway, I bought these four by four cedar posts and up top I have a uh, just this uh, red cedar two by four running along the top and I sunk each of these posts into the ground two feet and as you can see sunk them into concrete here um, I mounded the concrete up a little bit so that way it will shed water in the rain um, what you're going to want to do when you set these posts is wait a few days, three or four days before you start hammering or anything. Let that concrete cure so you don't get uh, cracks in it. And then what I did uh, for the trellis itself, I bought what these are called, um, these are called cattle panels or they could be called hog panels. They're used in farming and ranching applications, that sort of thing. Uh, but you can get them at Tractor Supply. I bought this one at Tractor Supply. And this is gonna be the trellis itself. And the reason I chose this is because of durability. Um, I'm gonna be growing a coral honeysuckle up here. And over the years, the coral honeysuckle gets pretty woody. At the bottom, it gets kind of like a trunk. And the foliage and everything gets kind of heavy. And so I wanted something pretty stout. So in time, it's not gonna um, cause the trellis to bend or lean or anything like that. And also for maintenance, because when it comes time to restain, well, I don't need to worry about this. I don't need to worry about cutting back my honeysuckle. I can just leave it alone and do the stain on the wood when the time comes. So let me show you around back here how I have this fixed. What I did was I went and got fencing staples. You can see right here. And again, you can buy these at Lowe's, Home Depot, anywhere like that. And I attached fencing staples all the way down and across to give it a nice firm uh, firm uh, build here and um, the bottom here I used a hacksaw to cut the bottom off to size and so what I ended up with is a really sturdy trellis that's going to look good and in the springtime when I get my coral honeysuckle growing up here is going to turn this corner of the yard from a as you can see not much going on, not much to look at into something that's a beautiful feature of my backyard. So I hope you enjoyed this.